Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a workday vlog, a productivity vlog, which feels apt after the last few kind of downer ones. As you can see, I kind of started with a bit of prep for tomorrow. I've packed lunch, I made brownies. Um, I washed my hair yesterday, so I don't need to wash it. I am gonna wash this, have a shower now. I've packed a bag, put my laptop and everything in there. I think I will probably stay at Kenan's tomorrow. So I packed some overnight stuff for that too. Yeah, just set myself up for success for a nice, well rested night time and I am stylishly getting ready for tomorrow. I've done my workout, done some baking, done some cooking, watched some TV, had a shower. Nice way to recenter, get ready. Got my outfit planned, I'm ready to go. I have a bag packed with my laptop and overnight stuff for I'll be staying at Keenan's after work tomorrow. So for the rest of the evening, might have some tea. It's about 9.30, so have some tea. I think I'll FaceTime Keenan if he's available. Do some reading, kind of stay off of screens. Do my journaling. It's the end of the month today and tomorrow's the first. So it seems like the right time to do a nice video for a productive day. So the main event will really be tomorrow, which will be a work day. But a work day is nothing if not well rested. An easy morning tomorrow and that's what I was really doing tonight so yeah I will take you along welcome to the video <laughs> After an interesting start, <laughs> it's 7. I'd actually set my alarm for 5.30 and then I'd set one for 6 and 6.30 and 7. And I heard none of them. My sister came into my room and said, oh, your alarm's going off. So I pressed stop. But I had to press stop like four times because they were all on top of each other. <laughs> and I didn't hear any of them. So um, 7 was the latest that I could have gone up. So that was lucky. But now... I'm just rallying myself to get out of bed for the day. news kind of completely forgot to film my work day so I went to work today I wrapped up <laughs> had quite a few meetings I did lunch with two of my co-workers I also feel just a bit awkward filming at work especially when like today was a lot more of a social day if I was kind of working more isolated in my cubicle just kind of doing my own thing I probably would have been a bit more comfortable feeling filming but alas I did get back to Keenan's this evening and I submitted an application for a new job because my contract is ending and my current work for the end of the year, which is a little bit of panic kicking in, but yeah. So I submitted a resume and cover letter for that. <laughs> also the job description was a little bit broad um, with a lot of duties and under one umbrella. So I kind of, 
might have <laughs> brought an HR lens to it, and I also might have cheekily made a little PowerPoint presentation that I want to bring to an interview, should I be successful in getting an interview. So that was a bit extra, very bold. I'll probably bring it and just be like, eh? A bit cheeky, really. <laughs> it's also like the job itself is not necessarily my area of expertise. And I think I could bring my area of expertise to the job. So that's something else I did today. I also bought a new journal from the bookshop. Green this time. Ooh. And it's also really satisfying. It's the first of the month and I start a new journal on the first. Oh, very satisfying. This evening, Keenan's dad is making some pasta bolognese, which I am very excited for. And I'm not sure what Keenan wants to do tonight, but already I'm starving, so I'm very ready for food. And yeah, I'm really sorry. There's not actually much content, so this might end up being a few days vlog just to sort of flesh it out a bit. I'll probably work from here tomorrow. Yeah, come along with me for the evening. This evening ended up being very chilled. Keenan and I had dinner with his family. We went and grabbed some snacks from the grocery store. Then we all watched a movie. We watched Ada Badline. And then Keenan and his sister are just playing some games right now. And I'm just going to settle in and watch some YouTube. My eyes are literally like falling down, drifting off into sleep. So I might not even get to journaling tonight, but I'm going to work from home, or work from here, at Keenan's tomorrow. So I'll probably take you along as well, just kind of clip to the office versus working from home. And working from home, I'll probably, able to, probably be able to film a bit more as well, and give you a little bit more content for the day. But yeah, as of right now, <laughs> good night. <laughs> person in the winter and like a coffee person I like iced coffees in the summer and then I had one yesterday and it was just like not not what I'm looking for but then in the winter it's like tea 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 today I did put on some makeup but that's like literally it also all the hooks on the wall I was filming the TV earlier and I realized that can look a little bit um spicy they're for Keenan's hammocks that's it <laughs> yeah so I did my meetings and Keenan's just taking his sister to the dentist so I think he's gonna pick up some samosas for us afterwards but I'm very hungry now so I've got to wait for lunch but we might do some little snack snacks in the meantime. Perfect. These are the truffle chips by the Kettle brand. They're my favorite. Everyone else who tries them, <laughs> my sister tried them, and so did my dad. They were like, oh, these are good. But they are such a Kate snack because they are so savory. Like, the salt on these is 
offensive to normal people. However, I have <laughs> no regrets. I am a sodium, sodium filled queen. And now I'm going to eat snacks and continue working. <laughs> and I've just got home with samosas. I'm ready. super relaxing so you got me a new one it's a cute like i don't know if you can really see it's like a cottage which i'm very excited about almost done my work day so afterwards i'll probably get started on that because that's exciting i'm looking forward to it I don't usually play games, but I also feel like it snowed and turned into November and we immediately just went into like comfort and cozy mode. I offered to go to the gym. You didn't want to. No, I have enough room for <laughs> Do you want to start a new world or do you want to? Yes. <laughs> we just did that for hours. Hours. Whoops. What are we having? Samosas. Again. And pakora. Ideal. Hello, I am home now. Um, I was at Keenan's this morning, um, as you saw, and this was technically trying to be like a work vlog and I think it's just gonna end up being a couple days because I honestly couldn't get much footage while I was at work in the office and then yesterday I worked from bed. When I'm in the office I definitely feel more busy and it's a nice kind of separation from home work and also I do feel like more organized because I have to be. I have to like prepare things the night before and like set myself up for success whereas I think when I work from home it's good because it allows me to be able to work more flexibly but it's not as motivating and I also feel like I'm productive both sides like it doesn't necessarily impact my productivity but I feel like I'm more like my work ethic feels better in the office because when I'm at home I just get things done quite quickly and then I'm kind of like mm, what do I do and then it's like online I don't know everyone's different and at the moment I'm in a work at the office mode I've been enjoying and other times I definitely go through phases where I need to work from home because that's just life. But yes, home now. And so I think my room needs a bit of a tidy and a refresh. I need to do my sheets, put away my laundry. <laughs> and yeah, I'm kind of feeling just a little bit uninspired with my room at the moment. I, it's small and I know it's small and I just want it to be bigger or at least I need to optimize my storage and organization of it a little bit better. This color of wall I don't like. This was just what was in here. This I love but I just I need um, I don't know it just needs a needs something. It needs a little something something you know. Just let's see what I can do. Probably not much but at least we can get it clean. <laughs> She's all clean and organized. That's just my paint by numbers that I'm almost done, so that won't be there. This little like corner wall by the window drives me absolutely bananas. Um, if anyone has any suggestions, I hate wires, but I need this to move very easily. So the wires are out. The rubbish is just there, and then I've just got shoes because I don't fit anywhere else, and it just. Uh, 
it's not it's not cute and I do still live at home so I don't exactly have like free reign to just go and put the keyboard somewhere else and honestly if I was just living on my own I probably wouldn't have a TV in my room but say lovey this is all been organized and we are ready I think Chloe is gonna come over we're gonna have a little girls night I also got these postcards when I was traveling this summer and I just put them up so <laughs> I think they look very cute. They're like the kind of 20s vintage style. This one's obviously from Nice and this one's from Monte Carlo. and we had such a nice, nice evening. Uh, we, I made us some dinner and then we played on the piano and guitar for a little bit and then we just hung out and chatted and it was kind of funny because we had dinner and then we just like naturally migrated and without saying anything we both just like set up the instruments and then naturally we just kind of like put away the instruments and started chatting we just like nothing was communicated verbally it was just like this is what's happening so now I'm just going to get ready for bed. I think Keenan's going to come over later after his boys night is done. And I'm probably just going to try and stay off my phone. So I might watch some YouTube or, well, I'll watch some YouTube and then I'm going to read. That's the plan for tonight. fashion show today. And Keenan's very happy about it as you can tell. <laughs> it's Christmas in Moland. Reheated some pasta that I made yesterday for dinner, which was lovely. And then I just watched some TV with my mum. It's all very chill. I've got some things today. I bought, I needed a replacement moisturizer, so I thought I would try this Laneige Cream Skin Serapeptide Toner and Moisturizer. Give that one a go. And then these fell into my bag. But it is the Morphe Soulmate Lip Liner and Lip Mousse. And I got the shade Honey. I'm not sure. I don't usually buy this kind of colour. So I'm actually going to try it on before I shower. And then I just got some cute little pyjama set from Victoria's Secret. I'm very excited. Those will be worn tonight. And also a massive... Hair scrunchie. I'm very excited for that. 
but yes I'm about to shower so I'm just gonna actually try this on and then wash it off immediately and start getting ready for the evening unwinding session of my day I just wanted something like kind of lighter I have a lot of dark kind of berry colors so this might not look that good on me but we'll see Oh, I do not like that lip balm. That's like cucumber flavoured. Oh. Definitely gravitate more towards the berry shades. So we'll see. Okay, this is already darker than I thought it was going to be. So it might not be quite what I was going for, but I don't dislike it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that feels nice. That's like nice. This lighting. Okay, that's not flattering, but in the mirror, this would be quite nice. It's still a bit dark, but not not as dark as usual. So actually, why is it so yellow? Oh, I like that. Sold. Okay, that's slightly better lighting. Not great still, but let's see. Yeah, no, that's just yellow. Okay. I tried. These are so cute. Okay. I'm all settled in with my tea. I am probably going to read. I haven't really journaled today, so I'll do that. The usual boring, repetitive stuff that you guys have seen a million times by now. Maybe watch some YouTube, big shock, big surprise, and yeah, good night, I will see you in the morning. Happy Sunday, it's my favourite day of the week and I've actually done really well on my time management this morning so I got ready, did my hair, my curls and this is the new scrunchie I got yesterday. I love it, I feel like a cheerleader from an American high school movie, you know what I mean? Um, so now it's about 8.30, I think I've got to leave by like 9, 9.30, somewhere between there to get to Keenan's by 10. We're meeting up with our friends and going to church today. So I think now I'm just going to do a bit of journaling, make some tea to bring with me, or I can get a coffee on the way. I don't know. And then maybe have some toast. All sustenance. Daily bread and all that jazz. <laughs> Okay. You like? It's quite bland. Bland and floral. Mm, I like the pumpkin spice slot when you have butter. This one. Almost done. I like that one better.
team i just filmed all of this and um the button was not clicked it was not recording uh <laughs> so i got up today ken and i met with some of our friends went to church then we went back to his and had lunch and i think i filmed some clips from there the rest i literally forgot my phone so um forgot to film anything and then i also me and Keenan headed to the mall. He wanted to check some stuff at the Apple store and we just wandered around there. He got some little kind of fidgety gadget puzzle things. So he's he's very pleased with that. And then we just got back to his and I'm now heading home. Keenan is gonna come meet me later and we're just gonna have some more of my leftover pasta because there was so much. <laughs> and yeah, so this will probably be the end of the Vlog. Like I'll film some clips for tonight, but this will be sort of my outro because this film, this uh, vlog, it's changed shape quite a bit than what my original intention of it was. I've noticed I've had just like yesterday and really a lot today, a lot of anxiety, and I used to get bad anxiety as a teen, but like obviously that's gotten a lot better over the years. Wow, the sky looks amazing! Holy moly! Anxiety has gotten a lot better, like pretty much a non-issue now. Um, so my baseline's a lot higher, and so when it does like kind of flare up and I dip like that, holy cool, it feels like it knocks me off my feet. Like I literally feel nauseous just from overthinking. And I'm oh my god, it does not feel good. And like there is the temptation to kind of stew. But I will also say, like, having how many years of experience and sort of working through it, like, the default thoughts, which are always kind of those, like, oh, I'm not good enough, or people don't like me, or blah, 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 blah. Like, those default thoughts, I'm quite proud of myself because I interrupt them very quickly and catch on to them very quickly. So I'm kind of like, mm, let's, let's reroute that neural pathway because we don't believe that anymore. Or actually let's let's combat this and kind of like guide my thoughts nicely and just also letting myself feel so it's just like not a fabulous feeling but it's there and I think the temptation is to just kind of beat yourself up even more about feeling the way you're feeling you know what I'm just gonna feel it I'm gonna like distance myself from the thoughts that are like kind of swirling and generating that feeling so eh that's not really fab but I have a really great support system I have like my three kind of like best friends who I can trust with anything Keenan's amazing with just listening my mom and dad are amazing my sister is awesome I just I have a good support system and everything else can just be noise as is needed it's work it's just work it's just people it's just whatever so Sorry, that was a really random kind of like waffling on about my current mental state. <laughs> but either way, today was a good day aside from those feelings and those things can coexist. I can have a really good day and also feel kind of rough. So anyways, anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far, I have no idea what it's going to entail to be honest. Um, it will be a bit sporadic. I appreciate you very much love the comments love the likes love the subscribes if you're so inclined and either way oh i hope i will see you next week love you so much bye bye decided to get a tattoo That's a painful spot, whoops. You okay? Oh yeah. <gasps> I tried like, walking up to your elbow thing, and you close your eyes, and you try to guess when they got to your elbow. Mm -hmm. And you always guess early. Like it is where it is. Yeah, so it felt like it was always.